well, this is part two. Our small yard at Gladstone Drive. We had some big ones, a small one or two, but all were able to be uh, to split. I pulled up some brood from the bottom box if they were super big. So basically I'm left with uh, three or four frames of capped brood or semi-capped brood or half-capped brood all in the bottom boxes and then one or two capped and one or two open larva on the top and tomorrow I'll come back and remove those queen excluders and I'll add uh, double screen boards and add cage queens. I'm actually going to put uh, masking tape over the hole to give them an extra day or two to slowly chew them out just in case that, that give an extra day or two over the candy plug most of these were big and it's so nice to see some bees flying again and lots of bees flying but what was really nice to see was some vigor some youth some new bees in colonies so there's been a hatch in most of these colonies which was so nice to see it's been a long time one thing one hive uh, the one with the brick standing straight up had cap queen cells even though they had uh, tons of space and they didn't find a queen so they have probably taken matters into their own hands and have decided to make a new queen that was interesting there's four cells on the bottom of one bar. That was it, just one spot. And then this one, just when you think you might know something about beekeeping, uh, they turn the dial, turn the page and say, no, hold on a second. So this hive, I open them up. There was a weird smell. And the bees were almost like they were in a stupor. They were not crawling, basically frozen in position like it was winter time. But most were alive. And I went through the first box, it wasn't good news. I pulled the first box off, got to the bottom box, and more of the same. I pulled out a couple frames, and there is a pile of dead bees in the, on the bottom board. And you can see that is a pile. So this was a monster colony. There are thousands of dead bees. They ate two patties. They drank a gallon of syrup. They made some wax. They birthed new bees. There's probably eight frames of brood, but I'm pretty sure it is all dead because they weren't warmed because the bees, I think, have been poisoned. It's the only hive out of 10 out here that look anything like that. And I believe the huge pile of bees on the bottom of the box was causing CO2 buildup and they were not getting any fresh oxygen, likely due to the, the front entrance being plugged with dead bees. That's just a guess, but I think it's a pretty good one. So I cleaned everything up, cleaned the bottom board, got rid of 90% of the dead bees, threw them out the front door. Uh, they've been oxygenated with the hive completely open boxes uh, separated uh, for about an hour now and we're seeing some good activity activity at the front door kind of normal bee behavior i've got uh, foragers coming back with whatever they're bringing so they got a little bit of fresh food and i'm assuming the queen is probably dead we'll have to come back in a few days or a week and see if we find eggs anywhere if not, we'll give them a batch of eggs or a fresh queen. But anyways, pretty interesting. Again, just when you think you know a little bit about beekeeping, they whack you on the head and say, nope, you don't know nothing. So we've got 10 hives here. Nine are looking great. We're gonna make some great splits out of these and cover some of our losses for winter. Anyways, thanks for watching.